Hello, hello, my colleague, colleagues. Those who are trading the options market, those who are trading the binary options. Today is the D which I've been promising you guys. An eye opener, a video that can open your eyes to see what you have not been seeing in the market. I guarantee you, if you can follow these rules, you're going to see your win rate will just accelerate after this class. Imagine giving you this video for free. Today lecture is where I'm going to teach you just two patterns. I have about one to eight of this high probability. One, two, four, I think it's four. One, two, three, four. Four high probability patterns that can give you an edge in the market. But nobody has been talking about this. All these gurus that you see them on trading option, trading binary option, they don't want to tell you the secret. I don't know, maybe this is how they trade, but this is how I find their high probability trade. This is how I find it. I want you to understand that in trading, what matters first is, is where price is going. If you can get this tint, 70% where price is going, the rest is just went to execute. These two things, when you get them, then you are, if you can get these things 70%, you don't need 100%. If you can get this 70%, then your win rate will be 95%. So basically what I'm trying to say here is I'm not just imagining how I'm giving this video for free, but I'm giving it for free because I love you guys. When I give you this thing, please, I'm begging you in the name of God, go and check price action get at least one month of price action or we'll just try this thing every day for at least one month try this at least for one month you come and thank me later that this is what you have been waiting for so when you get where price is going why is likely, why possible is price likely? We're not saying we're going to get the 100% of the time, but we're going to, if you can get the 70% likelihood of where price is going, I'll resume in, you take 10 positions and you have 70% of where price is going. Then you know when to enter the market. Then you are what? 70% away from beating the market. You're 20% close to destroying the market. So what I'm trying to say here is that this is the H1 time frame that you're going to use. Watch for these candles. The only thing I need is three candles. Just this one is just a swing close. Something like this market is falling down. This is in a downtrend. We have already break this low. We form a low, at least two to three hourly candles here. Eh? Then we broke the loss with what? With momentum candle, not just shrinking candle. We candle with long body momentum candle, a healthy body candle, a huge candle. Then after breaking, this is candle is closing below this low with a good body. Maybe we have another candle closing down again. We don't need the next candle to close, but when we have a bold candle, body closing, assuming we have some red candles above. What we want to see is the next candle, candle one. What I need is this one should be the candle one. The candle that broke the low is candle one. Then we have another candle that break open and break and close below the low of this candle that has already closed below this low. Then we have another candle. 
it doesn't matter it may be 10 candles but what matter is we must have a body of candle closing below this low it doesn't matter what we need is just the last candle this last two are the most important one last three candles it's a three candles pattern so when we have candle that has already broke a low we are watching when this one close below the previous candle that has already broken the low we need to see a candle that will cross back into the range cross back into the range even closing back into the range then we need to see a gap between the last candle and this candle this is the gap we want to see that the high of this candle does not meet with the high of the candles before it so this displacement here this momentum here you want to see a gap and this one closing back like this in the hourly time frame when we see this one then we have our direction this is why i say where price is going when we have this one what we need to go is we can go to the one minute time frame and start looking for our i don't know which pattern do you do did you treat an engulfing candle pattern do you treat a hammer pattern? The one that I love is the engulfing pattern and the hammer pattern. These candles patterns as the highest probability candles that I, I have ever traded. For the engulfing pattern, I'm going to teach you another one. For the engulfing pattern, what I want to see is I want to see if this is the down close candle. High probability is seen at least two down close candles. At least two down close candles, not just one. At least two down close candles, followed by a bullish one. I don't want to see the bullish candle closure. Let me let me take the bullish candle. I don't want to see the close of the bullish candle should be far away from the close from the opening of this candle i like the close of this engulfing to be very close to this so that it's not giving a market an opportunity so much so that when this one open the week will find a rejection here and then it will expand but if you have a candle an engulfing candle that will close very far from this one then there is likelihood that we may have a retest candle a candle that will come, a pullback candle that will retest this one and close as a rejection candle, then you can enter on the other one. So you have two types of candle pattern that you need to trade. Two types of engulfing pattern. I want to give you this. This is the first pattern that you want to look for on the H4 time frame. After having this one on the H1 time frame, remember in binary option, if you can have one hour of price, you just need one hour candle. Just one hour candle then you are gone. Out of the whole trading day, if you can get one hour candle direction, very right, very okay. You can walk through it. You have 60 one minute candles. 60 minute, one minute candles to trade from. You also have what? I think it's 12 Five minute candles. 12. You may choose which time frame you want to trade. You want to trade this one, you have what? You have 60. This one here, you have 12 five minute candles that you can trade. So with this one, I think you can you can go into the market. I think it's 12. Yeah. Supposed to be 12. Yeah, like the 12 I said. If you can get this thing right, then Believe me, this is a stepping stone. So you have 12 five-minute counts. Let me finish teaching you the, the hourly pattern. This is the hourly pattern. Then the second pattern is this. Let me give you the second pattern. This one. This one is the continuation pattern. The first one I teach you is the word is either a reversal pattern or 
a pullback pattern. You want to trade a pullback is the first one. But this one is a continuation pattern. The continuation pattern is we are looking at the market that has already formed a you low know, high, break the high. So when a market and create another work, another high. So there is 70% all the time that if a high is created, market is going to retest it before it drop. So in the H1 time frame, we want to see a market that has created a high and is ready to buy this. This one we need all the three candles again. We have a candle that created a high. Then we have, normally I like to see the, the, the bearish candle does not take out the high of this candle. So something like a swing high, the fractal swing high. So the down close candle, the candle that will go down should not take out the high of the last bullish move. So the bullish candle is supposed to be the one that from the highest high. Then we have the lower high here. Then we have a bullish candle. This always should be a bullish candle. Always should be a bullish candle. The first one is a buy pullback trade. This one is a buy what? A buy trend continuation. Or a buy reversal and then a buy continuation. So you want to see the rules is number one. We want to see a candle that has already broke a high. This is what a trendy move. Then we have a pullback with a candle. Highest candle should be a bullish candle. The bearish candle should be, the high of the bearish candle should be lower than the bullish candles. The high of the bearish candle. Then when we have a bullish candle rejection candle like this, we don't want to see a gap like two bearish candle. We don't want to see two bearish candle. Likely, I don't like to see two bearish candles here. Just one candle is enough with a long body. Then we have this one close back into the range. Then there's high probability that the next hourly candle is going to rally. So when the next candle is going to rally, and normally I like to see that if, yes, I like to see that this one, or like this one that happens here also, but likely I want to see a bullish candle form here similar to this, but a bullish candle. So when you have this one in an hourly candle, just need, you need to just, just to go through the chart and see which one has this signature. When you have the one that has this, then you have the PA. Now you have the currency that you're going to trade that day, that you will not be trapped in a consolidation market, that you will not be trapped in a market that is not good. You need a can market that has a clean candles breaking a high. Then you have your bias for the day. This is where this is the prayer that I'm going to trade. If this one is in a Euro USD, this is the Euro USD, the only pair that you're going to trade on that session. For instance, you want to trade the London session or you want to trade the New York session. This is the pair. You just close every pair and concentrate on this. I think I have done justice to explain a pattern. I just need to show you. On the next video, I'm going to show you on a chart. This is just a PDF presentation. I will show you on the chat. Then the following video will be also on finding your confirmation on your lower time frame to enter. For instance, if you want to use the five minute time frame, which are the highest probability uh, entry pattern. If you want to trade on the M1 time frame, one minute time frame, that is you want to trade the 60, 60 minute candles. This is, you have 60 minutes, 60 one minute candles to trade. This 60 minute, one minute candles are enough for you. If you can get out of this, if you can get only three using the compounding interest, you are gone, you are good. Out of 60, you're just waiting for what? Only three. If you may wish to trade Five, you're okay. But I advise compounding interest is very important in trading binary option because this is the only way you can make money in binary option by compounding. Maybe you try the first compounding, it fails. Try the second in compounding. You're going to succeed with this pattern. 
So I will teach you how to use it and the money management. This is the millstone you have been waiting for. If you have been finding trading option very difficult, this is the answer. If you can try this one and still fail in binary option, then binary option is not for you. Come to us. We're going to show you also how we deal with the Forex market using similar pattern. This is A1 Trader FX. The only A1 revenue trader that gives you face hand information for free. If you like this video, comment. Tell me your mind. Tell me what you did not understand on this video. Comment on it. Then I will go back and re what re record another video similar to this where you did not get it right. Just ask. I am here. I will make if it is to make a video, I'll make a video. If to make a PDF and show to you how you can be able to get this. My goal is for you to get it. My goal is not just for me to get you watch my video. Mm -mm. My goal is for, for me to make you understand and use it and profit from it. This is the aim for bringing this video, not just for you to come and watch my YouTube. Mm -mm. That is not my goal. My goal is for you to get it right. If you can get it right, and make money from it. I think you can come and say, thank you, my brother. At least when you give me just one dollar and say, this is my appreciation for you. I will say thank you. I don't collect your money for this because I know there is something that is missing. Give your time. Watch this video. Rewatch it. You may have your friends who doesn't know, who are still finding difficulties. Share the video to them. Help them also. Even as we proceed with the, I think it is a five series of videos I'm going to share to you guys. How we can execute from in the live market. If you can get this five series of video right, you can deal with the binary option. Thanks for your time. Like, subscribe, and give me your thumb up. Goodbye.